have asked Parliament, and Parliament has a report, but we have asked ESCC to investigate this matter, give us a report, and we hope ESCC will be diligent. But I want to see what we saw in Nairobi when they brought down those big houses. to ensure that I have a mixed economy in Watamu. My idea is that if Watamu continues to just depend on tourism, with the fluctuations and the problems we have in tourism in this country, we may not uh, sustain the people here. So I had this idea of putting up a college here. Now this college becomes an opportunity for not only training, but also to, to, to spur economic growth uh, for the region. So for me, this is a project that will cost us around 160 million, and I want to thank the president of this country for allowing me to have the money to put up this uh, institution. Uh, we have been here for the last three months, four months, I think, uh, uh, trying to bring up this college, and um, we hope that in less than 12 months we will open. This uh, the equipment for this college is ready, and the programs that will be taught here include engineering, include. Uh, hotel management. You don't have to go to Utali to go and train to be a hotel manager. That can be done here. So I'm bringing training also to support the hotels which are here. Because the, our people get paid very little money because they are employed as a, and trained. So they are trained in the hotel. They don't have papers. They don't have certificates. But this college will train hotel management and all cadres in the hotel industry. And that gives us an opportunity. If it's F and B management will be done here. If it is uh, uh, housekeeping, it will be done here. If it is catering, it will be. if it is tour guiding and languages, it will all be done in this place. So I want to tell the Watam people that they are very lucky to have this institution put here. And uh, I believe very strongly that this investment will go a long way to help the economy of both Kenifi and Bandit. Maybe what are what do you have? Yeah. This college will spur economic growth here. One, we ex I expect to have over ten thousand students in this school because this college will expand. It's not the only building we will put three others like this. So we with those that kind of population and I have insisted that this should not be a boarding uh, institution. The reason is because I want if come away condition, you have tenants. To the students will be tenants here, the teachers will be tenants. The amount of money, the turnover in terms of cash that will come from this area, this college, is in terms of hundreds of millions, which will go into the local economy. If you come away with a maki banda, you will chakula, you will be a Kama If you come away with a chakula, you will be a chakula. If you come away with a chakula, these students will require a lot of things. Maduka makubwa makubwa utaona na jengo hapa. If you have a shop, you sell clothes, you sell shoes, you sell anything, you will make a lot of money because of this institution. So this institution will, uh, even hotels here, by the way, this will supplement the hotels. Because people will come here, they'll want to spend their money in the hotels here. Uh, students will come here, they'll have money over weekend, they want to go and have a drink in one of the big hotels or eat in the big hotel. So these hotels will never, no longer be seasonal. They will not be closing during the law season because this college will give an opportunity for conferences, for meetings which will be held in these uh, hotels here. So this is one of the best investments you could ever think about. Yes. One university has changed belief in terms of economic growth. This college we are putting here will also change what happened in a big way and including Malindi and Gede. They will be depending on the economy because of this uh, this college which is here. Maybe Mashinua, yes. when you come back to tourism and also entertainment, because we understand what term yes. is an entertainment school. Yes. Kitambo to Lukwana, Lukwana, very famous. Kalahari. Kalahari. Kanda Chini, Kunakamba, Kunawea. All of them yes. are now down. Yes. And with this COVID, tomorrow, yes. Kunayu restriction here, yes. night something. And mm -hmm. you know, at night, yes. during the dark, is when yes. money is spent. Spent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what can you advise the government? 
I will tell the president. I will look at him in his eyes and tell him, Mr. President, it is time to lift this cafe. It is high time we lifted this cafe for the economy to grow. Watamu is an entertainment town. Without uh, entertainment, this town is dead. Entertainment happens at night. It happens at night. And if uh, entertainment is not happening, Watamu as an economy has crumbled completely. The local tourists don't come to Watamu anymore because they've come here to have a drink and to get entertainment, to go to a disco and have fun. It happens at night. But if the night, the night hours are not allowed, then uh, the, the Watamu economy has actually Watamu has crumbled because of the closure of the nightclubs, which are known. Watamu is known for big nightclubs. It is known for entertainment and all that. And therefore, I also want to tell the president, uh, I have never heard of uh, COVID cases here in Watamu. It tells you that the, the COVID cases in Watamu is affecting the economy here. So he should open areas which he knows that do not have. This country now should be selective. Watamu should be open for entertainment and for business so that people can make money. There are many people who are fleeing Watamu now going back home. A lot of the people, investors here are going back. And therefore, what I would urge the president, and I want Mr. President to hear me on this, please open Watamu. Open, lift this cafe so that our people stop suffering here. Uh, in Watamu. I mean, yes, is is now. Yeah, yeah. And there? Yeah. And land matters in general. So, we have to know that we have to get to the end of the day. We have to get to the end of the day. We have to get to the end of the day. We have to get to the end of the day. We have to get to On land matters, uh, costs as a region, and Kinifi in particular, have issues in terms of land. And one of the ISOs that will ever judge us in history is the uh, ADC land. ADC land is a thorny issue because the people, one, ADC as government corporation lost its land without due procedure. Somebody sat in an office and decided to subdivide that land and give the land to his friends. And therefore we lost ADC land. But that ADC land, even before it was made ADC land, belonged to certain people. It belonged to the community here. Those people lost their land to ADC. ADC lost their land, its land to some unscrupulous people. And that is where the problem is. Uh, we have brought this matter to Parliament uh, and uh, a report was written that the government repossesses the land so that the people who are dispossessed, because that is disposition of ancestral land, the people who are dispossessed of the land at Sabaki and in ADC land, they should be given back their land. But you have a problem. The people who grab the land have built the whole area. And they're making huge transactions. They're selling the land. An acre in Sabaki will cost you over 20 million. And these people who are making these 20 million and hundreds of millions are not people who genuinely own that land. The people who genuinely own that land are living in scala, they are living in poverty, they are living a life that can never be envied by anyone. And yet their land is reaching high prices in the market. So we have asked Parliament, and the Parliament has a report, but we have asked EACC to investigate this matter, give us a report, and we hope EACC is intelligent. But I want to see what we saw in Nairobi when they brought down those big houses in Nairobi. We would like to see what happened here in Malin. So that justice is seen to be done for the people, of course, especially on the ADC. We want the land, ADC land to be possessed and given back to the people who are dispossessed by the people who took the land away from them. There are those, yes. Uh, yes. There are those who have been allocated land yes. in places like Magarini and yes. elsewhere, yes. and they are now selling land it's very low price. Yes, yes. What is your advice? No, my, my advice is the cost. Because of poverty and other exigencies of life that we have, uh, people have been uh, selling land. But I want to tell them that the value of the land that they are selling right now, they're selling a throwaway price. And yet, that land can fetch a lot of money in future. My advice to them is to stop selling land. Stop selling land and ensure that they use it as a factor of production so that they can make a livelihood out of the land but if you sell the land you are selling a factor of production then you are remaining poor so i want to tell uh, the people that uh, our local people stop selling land use it productively instead of just selling it and making quick money another thing which i must say there is a cabal of, of young people 
people are working in Kahoot with some politicians to steal land from Kilif. Right now, we have uh, I have discovered that the land that is called Timboni in Shariani, which is part of my constituency, some people, politicians here, aided by people at the Ministry of Land, have stolen over 123 hectares, 153 hectares, and they have a title to that land. They have gone alongside that area. They have stolen land 1,856 hectares of land. And there's one title that has 10 names on it. And there are other transactions that are going on at the minute. I want to tell the minister, the CS for land, stop this th the theft of land at Kilif from your officers who are working in Kahoot with politicians, senior politicians from Kilif. But if you will not do it, I will expose the people because I have the documents and I know the people behind this scam. It's actually a scam. People are making titles aided by politicians from Kilif. So I want to tell the people of Kilif, be very, be, be, be very scary. Your politicians are busy making titles on your land. You think that you own that land. There's a politician who now has a title on your land. <coughs> And uh, we thought that uh, by maybe our C CAS, uh, yes, uh, has been transparent yes. that uh, when he's being appointed there, yes. he'll try and uh, straighten things. Maybe. No, I think the reason why the president removed our CAS from uh, lands is because he failed to protect the land. In fact, he joined the people who are stealing the land. And I can tell you this any time. But he joined the people stealing the land from Kilif. And he's been aiding people from stealing our land. Aiding people who are stealing our land. Because he sits there, he knows where the lands are, and I can tell the people of, uh, especially the people who are south of Takawu, that your land is gone. Yes, and the person who sat there, who we thought would take care of our land, actually aided people to take away the land from us. And I'm not saying this because I'm saying I have evidence of thousands and thousands of acres that have been excised, you know, and given to people who are proxies, you know, who are proxies through the county government. People who are proxies and titles And the government uh, is planning to give 70,000 titles in the area. The government is, is, you know, I have studied this matter. The government is planning to give out 70,000 titles in Kilifi. That's what they say. But only 20%, only 20% of those titles will go to people who are in Kilifi and genuine owners. The rest, people have taken thousands and thousands of acres. So when uh, those titles are coming here, they must be audited. Who are the people among the 70,000? How many of them are from Kilifi? How many of them are local indigents? How many of them are actually the people who deserve to get the land? Because only 20%, only 20% of the state, the rest are people who are, you know, politicians from Kilif in Kahoot with other guys at the Minister of Land that have taken the land. That one I will tell you anytime. So, 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 so